Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see how to implement ACT type 1 using dynamic lookup cache. So this is our third approach. In my previous session, we have seen that the approach of the using MD5 function and without using lookup, how we can perform the ACT type 1. Now we will check how we can use the dynamic lookup cache in ACT type 1. So first understand in SAT type in dynamic lookup cache there are static and dynamic cache. In static cache the data in the lookup cache doesn't change when the mapping task runs and in dynamic lookup cache it change the cache for each row. You can enable dynamic lookup cache for a relational flat file or source qualifier transformation lookup. You cannot share the cache between dynamic lookup transformation and static lookup transformation in the same target lo load order group. When you enable dynamic lookup cache, by default new port, new uh, return port will be added that is the new lookup row and new lookup row values is always 0, 1 and 2. 0 for no change means it will not insert and update any records. 1 means insert and 2 means update. Now we'll understand this with the help of mapping. We'll create one mapping. The mapping na naming convention is always start from M. We we'll select the Oracle connection. We we'll select lookup. Our target table will be our lookup table. We we'll give the condition on customer ID and lookup customer ID and source customer ID. In advance, we will click on the dynamic lookup cache. So these property are enabled. We'll click on the insert else update and output old value and update. Save this. In field map, mapping, you can map the field with the lookup. Now in target, We will give the condition in target on update on data driven. You can see syntax is already there. If new lookup row you can see in the field. Let me show you. This is the new lookup row is automatically added. Let me show you here. When you click on dynamic lookup cache, you can see in the target incoming field, the new lookup row is generated. We will call this new lookup row in our condition. If it is 1, 
then update otherwise insert otherwise update validate this condition okay save this We will create one more dummy target to check the result. Just add this here. We will create runtime file. We'll give the name dynamic lookup cache. So, guys, I have a one question for you here. This is interview question. So, when you click on dynamic lookup cache, which three property will be enabled? You can write this answer into comment. We we'll save this mapping, create new mapping task. Select runtime environment and mapping. Save this. Now we'll run this. Let me show you my source. So this is my source. Customer ID, customer name, customer mobile number, customer DOB, customer city and customer country. So there are total three records. So you can see six records are loaded. Let me check in target. See it is inserted. Now we'll see in our flat file. You can see the dynamic lookup cache file is created. So you can see new lookup group here and it gives the value 111 one means what for inserted the record now what we will do we will update and add one new record let me change my source suppose if i added 40 And we'll update this round will be achieved. Let me copy this. So what I want in the output? update added and no change so we want this output so let me run we'll restart mapping
so you can see eight records are affected okay, four four so we'll see here in target so four records are updated now we'll check in our flat file So you can see we will get same result we change this record this is round first right so the customer id 10 now it is changed with ajinkya so what numbers it gives me what value 2 2 means is for what for update one is for insert because we inserted one record here and we did not change anything with these two records 20 and 30 customer id so it gives me the value zero so in this way you can use the dynamic lookup cache in informatica cloud with acd type one thank you